Hey, so this video is going to be useful for anyone that has a visual impairment or any sort of impairment to do with the macula or retina. So I have Stargardt's disease, which is a genetic eye condition. And one thing you get told is that things can damage it. One of them being UV rays from the sun, which you can cure with sunglasses. And another common one is vitamin A. Now, vitamin A is a strange one because for people that have fully functioning eyes, it can benefit your eye. But if you have a condition like mine, which is Stargardt's, you're missing a gene which can effectively break down vitamin A. So what happens is it builds up as a fatty acid in the rear of the eye, which can then damage the retina even more, which can cause to even worse eyesight than you already have. I'm qualified as a nutritionist and one thing I wanted to do was to help people that have a visual impairment to know what does have vitamin A and what doesn't because it's something even me fully qualified I struggle with. I've gathered all my knowledge and all my resources and what I've done is I'm going to just let you know a little list of things that are high in vitamin A which are a complete no-go, things that are low to moderate which are okay but if you combine them would have too much vitamin A and then some stuff that I would going to recommend to you because it will it will be good for you obviously you need to live a healthy life but not too much vitamin A. Liver, beef liver, any sort of liver is a complete no-go. It has so much vitamin A in it honestly it's it's really not going to be good for you. Red pepper, red pepper is the only pepper that I would say strictly avoid, don't go near a red pepper. Sweet potato, again, very, very high in vitamin A. Again, a no-go. Kale, very high in vitamin A. No, turnip greens, high in vitamin A. Carrots, obviously, uh, everyone knows carrots, good for your eyes, um, not for us. And leeks, no-go. All of them will have, just within, just having one of them will completely wipe out your daily dose of vitamin A. Yeah, no no good. Please don't do it. Well, here's just a couple of things that I'd say common foods I've picked out that are low in vitamin A, but if, if you have a lot of it or quite a few of them at once, it can be bad for you. So salmon, salmon has roughly 20, 30, or between 20 and 40% of your daily allowance of vitamin A, which doesn't sound much, but when combining other foods, will eventually have a bigger impact on your on your eyes. So salmon, spinach, that's another one. Spinach I'm gonna talk about again in a minute. Mango, cheddar, cheddar cheese, uh, broccoli, and asparagus. They're the most popular ones that I'd suggest people eat, and camembert cheese as well. Uh, they're the most common ones I'd say people, people eat that they're fine, completely fine in small doses, but if you're talking about having a massive dose of one of them or combining a lot of them in one, so for example, if you're having um, spinach with broccoli and cheddar cheese on top of it, if you're having it in a pasta, again, you're gonna have, you're gonna have a lot of vitamin A in there, especially if you're having a red bell pepper. Yeah, no good at all. Foods that I would say are good and for people with visual impairments uh, similar would be very beneficial for. Um, so I'd say broccoli or spinach. They're both very, 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 very powerful foods, very good for you. However, I wouldn't have both of them in the same meal. So what I like to do is, when I do my weekly shop, I always have one of them in my meal. Um, so I will alternate it. One week I'll have spinach, one week I'll have broccoli, just cause very, the good foods, really good for you, but not at the same time. Another good one is yellow or green peppers very high in vitamin C, honestly very good food. I'd, I'd, have a, I'd have a pepper in all of your meals, especially a yellow or a green one. Um, sprouts, I'm not a massive fan of sprouts. It might be your cup of tea, it's a good food to have though. Yeah, so in terms of fruits, the only fruits you'd maybe want to avoid would be like a mango or an apricot. Good fruit, fruits are like banana, apple, completely fine. You want, you want fruit in your diet, obviously. Fruits aren't too much of an issue, as long as you're not having too much mango, uh, grapefruit or apricot, you should be okay. Peas, peas are another good one. Um, very healthy, very good for you. Sweet corn, sweet corn's fine. Uh, onions and garlic, 
again, very, really good for you. Uh, things I definitely recommend, high in antioxidants. But yeah, so I just thought I'd share a little bit of knowledge with you and hopefully, hopefully you can find it helpful and obviously it will, it will help sustain the vision you have for the, for the long term. And of course, if you have any questions about foods that you should or shouldn't be having, if you have a visual impairment or not, feel free to drop me a message and obviously I'll give you a bit of advice.